happened in terms of the rapid and, and instant shift to the way businesses operate and also the shift or acceleration of the way we deal with our personal lives and interact with our friends and, and families that are all have never depended upon technology more than they did the past couple months. And I think that is a big shift I'm seeing in the, uh, the market right now. You know, we're starting to see enterprise customers actually putting robots onto these networks. What they're trying to do with this ecosystem for open enrollment is to allow you to go anywhere in the world and be able to easily and securely get on a Wi-Fi network. The other huge innovation that's happening right now is in the world of 5G. With the rise of Wi-Fi, we're seeing an acceleration of the importance of software and the importance of multi-vendor. So what are the big issues architects need to be thinking about um, as we move to this world where we have a cloud edge computing? Instead of a giant centralized data center that has 10,000 computers, you have 10,000 data centers at the edge, each of them with a smaller rack, but still performing all kinds of new functionality. And if the business decides to make a change, to reprioritize or to move compute from one place to another, or whatever makes most sense for them, it can very quickly be turned into reality. This also highlights the importance, again, of software. You know, this having a software first approach here where, you know, if you have distributed data centers, what's really important is the ability to manage them remotely. Will businesses demand that they get better ROI from their data centers um, going forward? still connect with their families, be 100% productive and even more productive uh, working from home. This is all due to, uh, to networking. And it's quite remarkable, but with this pandemic and when you have crisis like that, uh, organizations have the need to pivot very quickly, change plans very quickly. Now we're using much more machine learning to help us quickly detect that, that problem exists and using things such as machine reasoning to, to do root cause analysis and figure out, hey, this is specifically what is causing the problem. Do you feel that the, that the, the business environment, the, the, the architects and network managers are ready to hand the keys over, over to automation and AI? I think the world is realizing that AI is not a threat to the technologist, but rather it's a tool. Now, my personal experience with dealing with enterprise IT guys, they don't trust anybody. They have the, the virtual AI assistance has to earn their trust. In the context of self-healing, very quickly, you're going to have that challenge. And so this is why a knowledge-based approach uh, is, is a, a far better one. The other fundamental thing is the foundation is changing. We're moving from embedded software architecture to microservices, cloud architecture, and that just gives you a better foundation on which to build now. But these are some things I'm very excited about. And I know my colleagues have other things they're very excited about too.